tour already seems to be a big bonus for monarchists, with a poll out today showing support for an Australian Republic is at its lowest level in 35 years. The Nielsen poll shows more than half of Australians are now against a switch to a republic. Just 42% of people support cutting ties with the monarchy. And take a look at this graphic. When young Australians are, are asked about the monarchy, 60% of 18 to 24 year olds are in favour of keeping a British monarch as our head of state. So one man who will be smiling is Jai Martinkovitz from Australians for a constitutional monarchy. Jai, welcome. That's quite a big number amongst young people. You'd be a happy man about that. What is it, the William and Kate factor or the George factor? Well, it, it's, it's very, uh, it confirms the trend over time and across polls since 1999. And we've seen this bell-shaped curve where, uh, certainly the elderly, but we're seeing this increasing level of young people who uh, don't want to become a republic, a politician's republic. And this is a ticking time bomb for Republicans. Certainly the uh, royal family is one aspect of that. Uh, there's that magic of monarchy, as we call it, and certainly Prince George is a huge factor that plays into that as well. Uh, but our, our uh, position is that uh, it's certainly not dependent on the popularity of the royal family. I mean, for your side of the fence, this is the kind of publicity you just can't buy. What is it do you think about the Duke and Duchess and, and the bub? You can't find a bad word about them. Well, it's the ability of the monarchy to constantly renew itself. And we're seeing this generational change which is engaging younger Australians. And they instinctively recognise the service and duty that uh, you just wouldn't see in other countries that are not uh, formed around this sort of system of government. So say, for example, the leading families in the United States, you would never see the service of, uh, sense of service and duty that we see in the royal family. And I think Australians find that very uh, attractive. OK. What about the Charles factor then, Prince Charles, when he becomes king? Do you think that's going to uh, play differently in terms of support? I mean, or, or do you think that there is that kind of support for him now? He does have a level of support. I mean, the amount of work that he does for charity is phenomenal. He, he raises over a quarter of a billion dollars just alone uh, for, for charities and good causes that he supports. Um, he's also very involved in uh, different issues that are of interest to him, environmental issues and, and otherwise. So I think as, uh, Australians recognise that he's doing a significant job uh, and uh, he, he'll uh, behave appropriately when he's in office and, and he'll, it, it'll be a short reign under Charles. All right. Just by the way, 60% of 18 to 24 year olds that figure that came out today is that what you were expecting is that the trending that you're seeing in, the, in that side of the figure there's two sides of this of course there's those who are rusted on supporters of the system yeah. and then there's those who don't want to become a republic and you, you sort of have to treat those a little bit differently then there's the undecided and the undecided will always vote uh, against uh, any proposal to become mm. a republic so this is something which is in line with the trend um, it's very encouraging that the trend has been confirmed and particularly that aspect of young support where we're seeing this bolstered support amongst young people which I'm sure the uh, William and Kate factor does play into uh, and Prince George well Jai it's uh, fascinating uh, to talk to you and check out those numbers we appreciate your time this afternoon Pleasure. Be interesting to see a poll in about 10 or 12 days time after this tour because it's already a knockout success absolutely and the other thing if I, if I may just very quickly add uh, we're seeing that with our presence on the internet for example with Facebook yep. there are large numbers of young people who are coming to those resources and they're actively engaged in the debate this isn't a superficial uh, level of support they're yep. actually engaged in the debate all right Jai thanks for your time let's uh, take you back down to the Sydney family hard not to watch and it's not just Commonwealth countries